Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Well, today we're on a bit of a mission to save the Kadak gas by getting out another one of our little outdoor cooking toys. We seem to have a bit of a collection of them. And I thought we'd take you with us for a bit of escapism viewing. But also, you know, because if you tow with a van or you have a seasonal picture or something, then possibly this sort of thing might be a useful centerpiece for a, a big family barbecue. If you don't mind undoing a few screws, that is, to carry the thing along. Anyway, before we get started, we need to give it a bit of a clean because I'm afraid we neglected it a bit after bonfire night. Uh, and then we can get started. So let's get going. So because the last time we used it, we just popped the cover on once it was cold. Uh, by way of excuse, if I remember correctly, it was just about to pour down. Rather embarrassingly, though, everything needs a bit of a rejuvenation. Uh, so Mike's decided to apply a bit of high-tech logic. He's tidying the surface with a bit of fine grade glass paper. And I'll give it a clean off uh, just after I've scooped away last year's ash remains. Just discovered a half bag of briquettes which we'll use and then we'll have to go on to the bit of lump wood we've got left. Ew, this is disgusting. So although it was under cover all winter it seems that we've got a bit of damp in. I can't believe it but charcoal actually looks and smells like it's gone mouldy. Who knew that charcoal could go mouldy? Anyway, in the spirit of using what we've got left, let's get it out and set it up and then hopefully it can dry out for a couple of hours. And then as long as it's burnt down, um, I'm sure it'll be just fine. And ideally we'd use briquettes for this because we're going to do a slow roast for a couple of hours. And briquettes are of course far superior to lumpwood charcoal. But as you know, you know, we're just using what we've got around rather than making any unnecessary journeys. Okay, so while that all dries in the sun, I'm going to coat the surfaces in a little bit of oil now, so all the surfaces that touch the food. Um, they've of course just been thoroughly washed in the house and scrubbed. Not satisfied with a mere macho lighter, Adam has decided that the barbecue has to be lit with a flint and steel. So usually we'd get the briquettes started with the chimney and a fire starter underneath. And then um, leaving them in the chimney until they're all lit. But I don't want to do that because uh, I'm not convinced these mouldy ones are going to work in the normal way. So I'm going to pop a bag of instant light lump wood on the top. And then hopefully that will all catch. So let's just leave it all to burn down and I'll pop indoors and get the meat ready. Okay, so as you saw, we had to do a couple of charcoal refills. Uh, I think I mentioned we're using lump wood today, mainly, which is nowhere near as good as briquettes for this type of cooking. Uh, also, I forgot to wire up the chicken legs together, so Mike has popped in and sorted those out. Remember, the pliers are a very useful cooking utensil this, for this sort of cooking. Oh, 
And here we see modern tech man in his natural habitat. Having applied a map gas enabled fire starting mechanism, he's wired up a USB powered mini desk van to a power bank to blow some air over the top and really get everything lit. Map to start it, USB to finish it. Man plus technology equals fire! <laughs> Oh, time to get everything off. Okay, I promise we're really not having an illegal massive party as we, because we've cooked so much. The boys got to the point a couple of months ago where we had to switch to two smaller chickens rather than one big one uh, because they all prefer breast meat. And then we had to do a lamp of lamb, of course, because it's Easter. Hopefully there'll be plenty of leftovers, fingers crossed. Otherwise it could get embarrassing. Okay, here we go, bread, salad and meat. Thankfully, there were plenty of leftovers, so that does keep us going for a day or two. Uh, nothing goes to waste around here anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe, stay well and stay home. But from us for today, bye for now.